the disciple left Jesus cross day in Samaria. He got tired. He was weary, the words say. He wanted to sit and rest. And he decided that he would rest only by the well where people come and draw, but yet he had nothing physically to help him draw. While Jesus Christ was there, not, no one knowing his plan, a woman came from the city. This woman came alone to draw water. And as Jesus Christ saw the woman, he asked for water. The woman looked and said, no, this cannot be. How can you ask to get water from me? A Samaritan, you being a Jew. We are not buddies. We do not have the link. And Jesus Christ engaged her. We know how the talk moved from just to water. As Jesus Christ said, if you knew who's asking you for water, you yourself will ask him to give you water. And he will give you living water. For please, woman, understand that whoever drinks of this water will thirst again. But I have a kind of water. Once you drink it, it will quench permanently your thirst. I receive it. The woman said, I want that water. Jesus Christ revealed that day things that you and I cleave on. He told us that God was not religion, God was a spirit. And he said that the place does no longer matter as it used to be according to the tradition. He said it will no longer be on the mountain, not even in Jerusalem. He said that forget about what yesterday divided us divided our philosophy our theology our religion he said now you gotta focus on a relationship it's no longer about doing he said god is seeking people no longer god is seeking system he said things that are you and i today cleave on god is not after just worship for the sake of worship no, he said you should worship him in spirit and truth. It means that uh, move away from just uh, doing things of yesterday as uh, prescribed by those who came yesterday. He said now build yourself in a relationship that starts from inside, that is uh, honest, that is truthful, and that is deep. <laughs>
Everybody press your mama. They wondered, how is it that you're speaking to a girl? And not knowing what was happening. The woman, the Bible said, after encountering Jesus Christ, she left her pot there. She used the pot to come for water. Mm. She saw that Jesus Christ was unable to mitigate her need because Jesus Christ did not have the pot. Mm. After encountering Jesus Christ, she understood it's not about the car. It's not about the shoes. Mm. It's not about the material things. It's not about the type of microphone. It is about something deeper. It is something greater. Something that flows from the bosom oh, of God. Even the car does not mean a thing anymore. The money in the account does not mean a thing anymore. It's all about Jesus. 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 When your level of revelation is a high, your life will fly high when the level of your revelation is low from a low perspective you will judge things you start thinking that people are good for you when they dress like you you start thinking that the people are open for association when they look like you your level of seeing is so low based on the revelation that you have unless you speak like my grandma spoke <laughs> you come be with me now you will have a church where after service the people who come from the same tribe hang around uh, we from the north we from the south mm. you must understand that your physical being is the lowest form of your existence. That's right. You are not defined by Ranch Rovers. It's no. good to have it, JP. <laughs> <laughs> but your association should not be based on who else drives oh, right. the likes. That's right. Be it that he walks or he drives, you must, after encountering God, understand that life is bigger than that. That's bigger right. than your watch, bigger than your car, bigger than a who you seem to have. Oh, the reason why you see people overworking, trying to over impress you. The young man just finished school. He's an orphan with a siblings that he has to take care of. He is in his first job, but he's taking you to a restaurant where he will spend a normal person's wage in one night. Lack of wisdom. And he's doing so because he's overselling. And the reason why he's overselling is because he thinks that, that this is the expression that you will get. You got to understand him in that level. And you see him with uh, his, his... That is his last money. He forgets that he still has things to take care of. And are you sitting there? <laughs> when you... Your home cell leader calls you. Hello, how are you doing? I'm having cappuccino. <laughs> did, you, did you pay for it? Why make yourself a slave of a brand? Oh, Lord. That you have to lay by. Oh. You want to live beyond your means. Oh, God. To impress who? Mm. The worst life lived is a life lived not for itself, but for others. That's Live for right. God. Devil is a liar. You should understand that you make the brand and not the other way oh, around. Yes. Now every bit you get, you go and pay a little. You are laid by. It must be shiny. You want it. And you put it after three months. 
For three months, you could not touch the altar. For three months, you could not serve God. For three months, you could not give to God because you were lay buying something. Jesus have mercy. Now, as you come to wear it, coming from the stairs, you took a wrong step, and boom, you scratch your, your leather. You feel like the devil is after you. <laughs> and you are speaking in tongue against generation curses. What has attacked my father? What is working on my mother? Will not work on me. <laughs> you come to church with such shoes. No one saw it because we're looking unto Jesus. We're not looking down. We're looking unto Jesus. Oh, wow. Uh You so upset living church is a bunch of jealous people. <laughs> my pastor is right. Not everybody will say amen to my prophecy. That was only prophecy. After encountering Jesus, the woman understood that what she really wanted, what was really important, oh, oh, was no longer the pot. She mm. so fought Jesus Christ for. Oh my goodness. Whether you wear whatever, the best brand is your brand. I wear seven. The best brand is your brand. Wear your brand. Your brand is better than the brand of those out there oh, yes. that you do not know. If it happens that you can afford and wear something, is fine. But never after meeting Christ, you will see somebody who is still naturally earthly minded. There is a shift. Thank you, Jesus. No matter how beautiful the house is, you cannot be defined by your house. That's right. You are bigger than your house. I must say that. You cannot sit, have the front seat, because of how much money you have in your bank. No. Under my spiritual father, Jacques André Vernon, La Bonne, we had. Many ministers and wealthy people, in fact, some of the wealthiest people in the country, attended church. That's right. And some will be in the ushery. CEOs will be oh, wow. in a, a, a protocol. Look at Jesus. And you will have ministers of defense right at the back, seated. Not because you're a minister, you must come and Jacques Vernon will allow you to be. No, there is no special seat with Jacques Vernon. We are all God's people saved by grace, by the Hallelujah. blood of Jesus Christ. Whether you drive or you walk, what matters is not that. It. She understood that something good and big had happened. She dropped a water pot. And the Bible says, she went to the city. Do you know God called you to change lives? The meaning of life goes beyond the sustenance of your own existence. Because the very sustenance of your own existence finds value only when it helps touch other lives. That's right. Why do you live? Why will you live again and again, another week, another month, another year, if it is not to be a blessing. That's this should be your prayer daily. May my life mean something to someone else. Oh, Jesus. You must be other people's minded. You are to you. Yes. After you are gone, once you are no more, do you know that it does not take long? People have to carry on moving. Your loved one will still enjoy chicken. <laughs> and chicken will not lose its taste forever. And if they are struggling to let you go, the pastor will come and say, Lord, get him or get her out of it. Do you understand that your great-grandfather, you do not know his name? Yet you are here because of him. Yes. Some of you, 
where your grandfather, your grandfather lived, you do not know. Just as your grandfather passed, you are serving your time and after this you go. Meaning of life is not about you. It should always be about other people. Thank you, Jesus. I received this word. She went to the city and there she spoke to the man. Men in those days were hard, a very difficult audience. Mm. But she had some way to get to that audience. She had five men. <laughs> she was the girl. She was anointed for difficult matters. <laughs> and she went to the man with a message. My God. After you have come to know Jesus Christ, after you have encountered Jesus Christ, what message do you have to those behind? Oh, Lord. We all have people who have to know what we came to know. Oh, when is the last time you went out there with a message of Jesus? Who did you call? Come and see. Who did you connect to what you are connecting to? She encountered Jesus Christ and gave every other person an opportunity in the city to encounter Jesus. She spoke to the men of the city. She stood and said, come and see. There is a man who spoke to me. I want you to meet the man. I know all of you are men. I know you. But I found the man. Hey. My God. My God. If every one of us will go out there on Monday, as much as we expect Jesus Christ to bless us and go and speak about Jesus Christ, let me tell you, our lives will be meaningful and God will glorify us. I will save it. Winning souls and sharing the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. He is a call for everyone. Be it that you're a pastor or you are in the pews. All of us ought to go out there and speak about Jesus Christ. Tell men and women, speak in our boardroom. Speak to the canteen. And let everybody who works with us hear that there is a man. I was once low and now I am up. There is a man. The best way to help yourself is uh, set yourself in the plan of God. Yes. If you want to prosper financially, prosper for God and you'll prosper you for him. I will save it. Serve God. This woman shared and said, come see a man who told me all things that I ever did. Come and see him. Come and have your own experience. Yes. You are a point of outreach and evangelism. Every day, systematically and intentionally, you must use every platform to speak about what happened to you, your relationship with Jesus Christ. Yes. Be it that it is organized by the church or not organized. It is a relationship thing. Go out there. Tell your family. Tell that business partner, I want you to, to come to my church. We'll talk business after the service. Glory to Jesus. That gentleman that, that tried to impress you, not having enough and taking everything that he has that could help his grandmother and his siblings, he want to invest it in cappuccino. Tell him, we'll have cappuccino after the service. Come to my altar. Let the world know. Let them know about Jesus the Savior. Let this dying world know that there is hope. Oh God. And Jesus is the hope. Let those who are in despair know that he heals the sick. He sets free the captives. 
is undefeated My and Jesus. is the same yesterday, today, My and forever. Jesus. Let those who are in the east and the west to hear the gospel, the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. Salvation has come in families. My God. Will you share it? Yes. I want you to lift your hands. My God. Oh. I want you to understand that God has called you. He set up this meeting for you to meet with him and have an encounter with him. And that through this, he wants you to be empowered to go out there yes. and tell everybody the experience you have. I have seen babies mm. dedicated to God. Oh, yes. Great number of them. Even a woman to whom was say you will have no child presented a baby to God. Thank you, Jesus. I have seen him heal. I have seen him deliver. Amen. He sets free the captives today. Oh, Jesus. Praise be to God. Mm. If you were blessed by this video, Please share and spread the message on social media using the share links in this video. Be sure to like and share our videos with your friends and family. Tune in to catch his next sermon on the public channel on AMI-TV or on our live stream on AMITV.com. Keep up with all his latest updates by following him on social media platforms at Elflukawa.